Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Dan Does Tech Stuff. This feels like it's like the trilogy, but this could be part three of me showing you um, the remote play capabilities of one of the older iPad Pros. This is the one with the lightning connector, right? So a lot of the newer iPads uh, are moving over to the USB-C connector. So thank goodness because you have a lot more devices that are compatible. Um, lightning was more of an Apple proprietary um you know uh innovation i guess but um there's a lot of limitations to what products it could support and uh, i think with the eu having usb-c as a standard kind of push apple over the edge and they now have to just go with usb-c which thank goodness every product more or less supports usb-c so but if you happen to have one of these older ipads maybe your dad or maybe your uncle or somebody has an ipad pro or, or an ipad with the lightning connector and they're not using it you could potentially ask them to use it for uh for gaming purposes okay so just a quick overview we have a lightning connector now somebody asked me uh could you show me the other adapter so we were using this previously this is the other connector so this usb connector uh, with the camera so camera adapter to lightning this is an apple product i think you could buy some off-market ones but i got this from apple directly uh, then you have your printer cable that runs over to a USB 2.0 hub. This is powered, so important that it is powered, has some type of power. Otherwise, this whole setup doesn't work because it's going to try to draw power from the lightning connector, which it won't. Uh, and then it goes into this uh, USB to Ethernet connector. I have this actually usually, I usually use this for my Nintendo Wii or Wii U or the Nintendo Switch. So you know it's connected because of these blue dots or blue lights are blinking and then of course you got to have your e ethernet internet connection so that's what I have so you can see I'm not using wireless I'm using all wired connection and it makes the experience a lot more seamless so I am a big proponent of having a wired connection over a wireless connection so that's just uh, my two cents so today I'm going to finish off by showing how you can connect your iPad to your Steam account. So Steam is pretty much the juggernaut when it comes to digital games. And uh, you just set up your iPad. Uh, it's going to ask you with for a four digit code once Steam recognizes your iPad it is trying to connect to your Steam library. So um, before you do that, always, you know, you should probably hook up a controller to your device first. This is get, being connected via Bluetooth. Okay, so this go to your settings and then connect it via Bluetooth. Okay. So, typically I like to use the Xbox controller when it comes to first person games. But for fighting games, I do like using like the, the DualSense controller. But in this case, um, we're going to stick with the Xbox controller for today. Alright, so let's click the Steam Link app. Again, you can find the Steam Link app on the App Store. Okay. So once you get your Steam Link set up with one of your computers, that's going to be kind of the main conduit so you got to have a a computer with the I would say with the dedicated graphic card then you got to have uh, your controller and you hit start playing it's gonna find your steam enabled or steam connected computer and connect it to your iPad and just like that we are all connected so it, it, it feels pretty seamless. It almost feels like it's native running on the iPad. So that's the power of remote play these days. And I think Steam does the best job of it. Um, next to like PlayStation and Xbox. You can see a big library of digital games on Steam. Um, but let's go ahead and use Tekken 8 as my driver for today. I think Tekken is it's a very... I don't. I, I guess it's kind of a very user-intensive game. It looks like it just installed something on my computer, so I'm just gotta wait for it to to install. <laughs> okay, that's the thing about consoles and PCs. With consoles, it just kind of runs in the background, and then when it comes to PCs, you gotta download all kind of updates to get it going. All right, let's see. Okay. 
So once you get that all set up, it should be pretty seamless after that. So the, the caveat here is you, this is for a wired connection over a wireless connection. I could do all this on a wireless connection as well, but as far as like lag and latency, I, I have a lot of that. I have like frames that get like, I guess frames that get dropped in the process. So that's why I like to use um, a wired connection. All right, let's have it kind of go through the process. Nice, and then we're gonna do some gameplay too. So, you know me, my favorite game here is Tekken 8. I don't have a lot of time to play games, um, but when I do, you know, I, I do enjoy fighting games. So look, you can see it's pretty seamless, pretty clear, no lag. Now let's get some gameplay on. All right, here we go. A little bit of a lag, but uh, definitely loading in the background. So let's go ahead and play the offline mode. We'll go to arcade battle. All right, let's let's play our boy King. That's our song. That's our jam. That's my jam right there. Hey. All right, who are we playing first? Playing Horang first. Again, I'm not a fan of the D-pad on the Xbox controllers, but uh, you know it's functional. Not my kind of go-to controller D-pad for fighting games, though. All right, let's see how well we do. All right, Horang, bring your best. Ooh. <laughs> Don't be lifting your leg up at me. A little bit of lag there. Ah, uh, you're dead. <laughs> A little bit of lag there. Ooh, yikes. Ooh. Send him up for the stunner. There you go. I wonder if I can do the people's elbow on him. Hulk Hogan leg drop. Oh, I missed it. Yikes. There you go. Okay. That will do. Alright, two more characters and then we will be good to go. Just want to show you what Steam is like when it when it runs remote play on kind of an old school iPad. So far so good. I think after the, the initial, I think with a lot of Steam games what happens is it's loading a lot of the information into the cache of in your PC. So the lo the more you play remote the the smoother it gets. Ooh. There you go. Ooh, there's some lag there for sure. I need to check the graphics setting on my PC. Yikes. <laughs> I'll do this elbow drop here. Ooh. Alright, one more. Ooh. <laughs> Got news here. Ooh, I like that move. Let's try that. Right. Giant swing. Set it up one, two. Oh gosh. Getting tore up. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> there you go. Smash. One more character. That one is a pretty demanding stage though. That one's intense. Oh, Clive. It was actually the first time I'm playing Clive. Let's see what he looks like. I wish they would have went with some somewhat a little bit different. Because Tekken to me is uh, kind of hand to hand. There come some characters with weapons like Yosemitsu. But I prefer kind of someone with no weapons. Ooh, yeah. He's got big lag, especially the stage here. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go send off with that Hulk Hogan leg drop. Here you go. And let's see if we can hit him up with our rage. There you go. Elbow. Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. Ooh, big old dragon in the back. Ooh, that's intense. Tell you, Tekken, it's, it's, it's uh, intense. Ooh, I'm running on the battery too. Yikes! Ah. I got a lot of issues in this video. Ooh. All right, he's dead. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. We got through it. Well, thanks so much for watching. Again, um, appreciate you supporting the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. To support the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Only takes a second. And then also hit that notification bell so that way you know what videos are coming up for me. Um, with that said, happy holidays to you and yours. Enjoy this season. Stay safe. Take care of yourself and each other. And we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.